Ever felt the vacuum's mouth? A tiny tornado at your fingertip? Powerful wind. But the dust you pull in, it never blasts back out, sounds like a trick. It's not, it's physics. What actually happens? Air and dust rush into the nozzle together. But dust isn't only air. Many particles are heavier. When the airflow instantly curves, the air bends. The particles don't follow. In most modern vacuums, that bending happens inside a cyclone chamber. The air spins violently, centrifugal force throws dust outward into the walls, dust slides down, it falls into the bin, big clumps never reach the exhaust. What about the tiny bits? Some particles are tiny, microscopic. That's where filters step in. First, a pre-filter catches hair and lint. Next, a HEPA, or fine filter traps the smallest bits. How? Several ways. Impaction. Fast particles slam into fibers and stick. Interception. Particles follow streamlines but touch a fiber and get caught. Diffusion. Ultra-fine particles jitter and bump into fibers. Electrostatic attraction. Charged fibers pull particles in. A true HEPA-grade filter removes around 99.97% of particles near 0.3 microns. The trickiest size. The motor keeps a one-way pressure push, from nozzle to exhaust. Seals, baffles, and valves prevent backflow. That steady direction, plus cyclone collection and layered filtration, keeps dust inside, even with strong suction. So, powerful wind at the nozzle? Yes. But physics and filters do the locking. Want lasting suction? Empty the bin regularly. Wash the pre-filter. Replace HEPA when manufacturer recommends. Science keeps your home cleaner. And the dust exactly where it belongs.